Every Sunday, the families of Ukrainian prisoners of war gather in Kiev to rally for the return of their loved ones from Russian captivity. Among them is two-year-old Timothy. His father, Denis Chumak, was captured while in the besieged southeastern port city of Mariupol in May 2022, which has witnessed some of the fiercest fighting of the war so far. Ukrainian security forces, including Denis, struggled for months to repel the invading Russians, before Kiev ordered them to surrender when further defence became impossible. The small Chumak family had made the city their home in 2020, and Timothy was born there. He was eight months old when he and his mother fled. Denis stayed to fight with the National Guard. As the months went on, Denis ended up defending the Azovstal steelworks, just as Russian troops encircled the city. Dennis and I dreamt that he would come back before Timothy turned one, but his first birthday went by without Dennis. Timothy made his first step without him, said his first word without him, and unfortunately this continues. Timothy has learned a lot already, a lot of time has passed already, but unfortunately we're still waiting. In the hope of fostering a father-son bond, 25-year-old Lisa tries to show him photos of Dennis. He recognises Dennis in photographs, so when I ask him where his father is, he simply points at the photograph. The last time Timothy saw his father, he was eight months old. Now he is two years and six months old and his father is just a photograph. But it's not easy for Elisa either, who recalls the last moments the family were all together. I can still see the scene unfolding in front of my eyes. It reminds me of the horrible war movies I used to watch. On that day, he gave me some diapers, some food, storage batteries so that we could light up the basement. He didn't even have time to hug me. He just gave me everything, turned around, said he loved us and that was it. I saw him getting into the car and that was it. That was the last time we saw each other. The next time Elisa saw Dennis was in a video from the Olenivka detention facility in Russian-controlled Ukraine in the summer of 2022. She says he was moved to Russia that autumn. Elisa again spotted her husband on a Russian telegram channel in summer 2023. She says he was recognisable but looking 10 years older. She hasn't seen him since. Ukraine says there are about 8,000 people, civilians as well as military personnel, who remain in Russian captivity as a result of Moscow's full-scale invasion that began two years ago this month. Ukrainian authorities say about 50 prisoner exchanges involving some 3,000 people, mostly from the armed forces, have taken place since the war began. President Volodymyr Zelensky says the majority of the prisoners of war brought home had taken part in the defence of Mariupol.